morning, Bulldogs! Today is October 2nd. Please stand for the pledge with our homecoming court. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, guys. Now on to the weather with Gia and Marissa. Thanks, Sam and Kenny. Today is a high of 57 and a low of 41 with a 30% chance of rain and a 100% chance of Bulldog, Bulldog football. football. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, girls. Now to Macy and Morgan for EPSN. Thanks, Sam and Kenny. This week, the volleyball team played JFK, Latonia, and Youngstown East. The girls' golf team plays second at sectionals on Monday and will play at districts this Tuesday. Good luck, girls. The football team plays at home versus Wellsville this week for the homecoming game. Good luck, boys. That's all for this week. Now on to the updated sports records. Gracie, what is your favorite memory from the past years being a high school cheerleader? Probably when, I think it was my sophomore year when we stole the perfume back, but yeah, that was, it was pretty funny, but. <laughs> Rachel, what are you going to miss most about cheerleading? Um, I'm going to miss like being on the field with everyone, the bus rides, and having a close bond with another team. Abby, what made you want to join the cheerleading team? Um, well, I was sitting in study hall one day and Catherine told me she wanted to be a cheerleader, so we decided to do it together, and it's fun now. most excited for this year with it being your first year on varsity? I'm really just excited for cheering at all the games. It's so much fun. Thanks, Macy and Morgan. Now on to this week's segment of Within These Walls.
Dr. B on the academic challenge team. Hi! How are you today? <laughs> so, Dr. B, how are you guys planning to do the competitions this year? You know, it's going to be very interesting, actually. Our first um, event will be a virtual competition. So we're actually going to be competing with other teams around the state, around the area, maybe even across the country. I'm not sure exactly how that'll work, but each player will compete on their own device. So it should be pretty interesting. Uh, we've never done anything like that before, but it's been pilot tested, so I'm told that it does work. Right. Okay, Dr. B, who are you competing against? Yeah, so usually what we do is we have several different sort of like uh, ways to compete. We compete um, tri-county, so that would be Mahoning, Trumbull, Columbiana County. We compete against schools from all throughout the area. Sometimes we compete just in the county, so there's a county um, event that comes up at the end of January where we'll compete against other Columbiana County high schools. And... Then, for like I said, for this virtual event that we're going to do in, in a few weeks, we will actually compete against people from all across the state, potentially. And who's all on the team this year, Dr. B? Yeah, so I started off strong here with uh, Brian Dunlap, so he'll be playing for us again. He does a great job. Uh, Miriam Figley and Liz Kincaid will also be in the crew. Um, as well as freshmen, yay, freshmen, Josh Bland and Connor Conway. So really excited for those guys to play for us. Dr. B, when is the first competition? Yes, so that virtual competition that I was talking about, that first one will be in November, actually November 14th. So yeah, really just about five or six weeks away now because it's almost October. So I'm excited for that to happen and see how it goes. It should be fun. Great. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Dr. B. B. Caitlin is the daughter of Brent and Jill Babel. She is the section leader in the marching band, also a member of concert band, pet band, and science club. Outside of school, she likes to draw, paint, being with friends and family, and participating in historical reenactments with her best friend. After high school, she plans to attend college and go into the medical field for either nursing or pathology. Caitlin would like to thank the senior class for voting for her. Thank you to her parents for always supporting her and she would like to wish the class of 2021 a successful continuation of all activities and sports for the rest of the school year. Kevin is the son of Steve and Jill Baird. He is a member of the band, and if there was a club for coolest cars, he would definitely be in it. Outside of school, he works at Iana Zones. After high school, he plans to get involved in the union and be a heavy machine operator. So cool. Kevin would like to thank his family and his friends and all the funny guys that thought it would be hilarious to vote for him on court again. Faith Figley is the daughter of Dan Figley and Veronica De La Rosa. She is a member of the soccer, basketball, and track teams. She's a member of the band and is a drum major. She's also a member of Pep Club. Outside of school, Faith likes to hang out with family and friends. After high school, she plans on joining the Air Force and to become a police officer. She would like to say thank you to her family and friends. Best of luck to the class of 2021 and all of fall sports. I'm very honored to announce Parker Bonays for the Senior Homecoming Court. He's the son of Brittany Schaefer. He plays football and track. After school, he plans to go to YSU to be, study physical therapy and like to tell the Bulldogs, go Bulldogs. Cassidy is the daughter of Heather and Mike Fletcher. She's a member of the cross country team, band, choir, robotics, and interactive multimedia. After high school, she plans on attending Full Moon Grade University and participating in the Army Reserve. Cassidy would like to thank her parents, other family members, and her friends for always being there for her. Mr. Kibler and I'm reading on behalf of Kenneth Hawley.
Hawley, who is a member of the Homecoming Court this year. He's a son of Beth and Bill Hawley, member of the baseball and football team, does a real good job for us on the football team. He loves to fish hunt, always hanging with the guys. After school, after he graduates, he's going to be attending the Newcastle School of Trades, and I believe he wants to go into plumbing. Um, he'd like to thank his mom, his dad, his teachers, and his coaches that have helped him along the way. And I'll tell you what, he's a heck of a nice guy. Kenny, good luck. Thank you. Yep. It's my pleasure to introduce Catherine Simon. Catherine is a daughter of Dan and Debbie Simon. She's a member of the cheerleading and tennis team. She's also a member of NHS Student Council, Science Club, Rotary Interact. She's also the senior class president. Outside of school, she's involved in dance at Kathy's Dance and Gym Center. She was the first attendant at the Johnny Appleseed Festival in 2019, 2020, and 2020-21. After high school, she plans on attending Ohio State University to major in journalism. Catherine would like to thank her family, friends, teachers, and coaches. She would also like to wish good luck to her classmates for a successful school year. Brandon is the son of Mark and Kim Turcola. He is a member of the soccer, basketball, baseball, and track teams. Outside of school, he likes to hang out with his friends and work. He plans on attending CCBC and studying aviation. Brandon would like to thank his parents for making him the person he is today. This is Morgan interviewing the homecoming court. Brandon and Catherine, how do you feel about being on court? Uh, I was a little surprised when I won, but uh, I'm very honored to be a part. Of it's court. so exciting. Caitlin and Kevin, how do you feel about a movie instead of a dance? Um, if it has to be something other than a dance, I think a movie was a good idea. It'll be fun. I like movies. Parker and Faith, what song would you have wanted to hear at the dance? Um, definitely Donald Trump by Mac Miller. Uh, anything from the Camp Conakry playlist. Cassidy and Kenny, how do you feel about the dance being after the football game this week? Uh, I feel like it'll be a it'll be a nice change, like from the dance to having something after the game. I feel like football players like him might be tired and sweaty, but at least the hype's still growing. Go sports. That's it for this week on EPTV. See you, See you next week. week.